Ribbit King. By Bandai. Uh, is my controller working? Oh yeah, it is. This... Okay, maybe it's because of the game I just played, but this looks like a lo-fi analog horror game. Now. Like, I see the, <laughs> the title screen for this, I'm like, oh, this is gonna turn into a horror game, isn't it? So for those saying I remember this game, I don't. Frolf? Uh, obviously I'm not going to be playing this whole game. We're going to just check it out and get a sample of it because I heard this was a good game for frog sauce. You know, the prophecy. Ah, it's Scooter. Thank you for coming. Do you need me for something, King? Well, to tell you the truth, we have a bit of a problem. Um, well, you see... Oh, it's over! It's over! We're doomed! This planet is doomed! Oh. Life as we Your know Highness? it is over! We'll be honest with you. Our supply of super ribbonite is dropping faster than a lead balloon. Oh, man. What? Oh, no! You mean that super ribbonite? Yep. The source of all energy on our fair planet. You could even call it the essence of Hippotron. I don't know what that is, but look I want it. Stop it! I don't want to look! Tell us, how's the level of Super Ribbonite now? It's not good. It keeps going down, down, down. <laughs> this is the GameCube it's version, by the way. At the rate it's going, it will run out. Our lovely planet will be doomed. Stop, Stop it! It's too <laughs> awful! Well, so you see, Scooter, the only way to save the planet is to get a new supply of Super Ribbonite. Obviously. Sage, we'd like to ask you an itsy-bitsy favor. <laughs> Drop <laughs> what you're doing and go get a new supply of Super Ribbonite. Pretty please. Uh, huh? So, wow. What um, are you worried about? I've got you covered. Oh, about Super Ribbonite. It's right, a sentient I'm basket. I'm not sure if I can get it. It's going to be tough. I know you can do it, Scooter. For this mission, you have to learn to play Pro. Well, well what's Pro? Look out. Here we are. That's our first destination, Ribotopia. I've got you covered. Now let's land. Roger. Uh, uh, hey Kyle, it's me, oh. Butters. Well, uh, I was wondering if we could play some froth, but, uh, Kyle and Stan. Oh, uh... By the way, I think we landed in the wrong place. What? Oh my god, that's amazing. This music already sounds gleeby deeby. So, um, <clears throat> I accept your challenge. Oh, wait, train. Yes, train. What kind of sport is Frolf? Teach me uh, the, the ways of Frolf. You fling a frog with a hammer. <laughs> oh! There are four holes per round with two or more players. One with the highest total score at the end of the round wins. Get frog-ins and gimmick bonuses to raise your score. The frog-in bonuses gives a lot of points to the first frolfer to get a frog-in. Wow, these names. There are many gimmicks. There's a gimmick that resembles a floating soap bubble. When a frog hits it, you get points. Oh. Well, that's different than golf. You can earn extra points with gimmicks while you work on getting a frog in. That's how you earn high scores. I'm ready to play around. I played, um, 
a lot of Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, so this is probably going to be fun. People are saying this is familiar somehow. It, there's a lot of people saying they remember this vaguely, or they're like, getting memories unlocked from it. I've never fucking heard of this game, so I'm glad that some of you are remembering it. Wait, I didn't do anything. What the hell? Okay, that was weird, check, because I didn't press any buttons and it did the thing. Maybe that wasn't me. That might not have been me. Okay, so we're going to the Frog Inn. Um... Like the, the carnival frogs. Oh no! Of course that happens. Yeah, this isn't me. This basket is is bullshit. Huh. I'll be honest. This does make me want to play Mario Golf, but I'm playing this, and I'm I'm gonna get into it. It just reminds me so much of Mario Golf. Like, visually, you know, silly, silly characters, bright colors. It seems like it's a, a lot more mechanically simple. But that there's, there's also just so much extra shit happening on the froth course. When does it turn into a horror game, though? Of course a frog would like the water. Of course! There's items and strategies per course. Go! Frog in! You can angle with the D-pad. Oh, okay. I would imagine each turn is worth less. Not worthless, but worth less. What graphics is, is those? What is that? Is that a mushroom? Looks like a mushroom cap or a condom. Garlic? Nutsack? <laughs> Sorry, Basket. I'm the clear winner. And now the results. Your score so far is this. The surprise bonus for this round is for this. What is what is going on with that voice? For this many points. Why do so many of the voices and in this the game bonus goes to sound like South you. Park? Yeah. So the winner is. Hooray! This player. He has that voice the in the winner previous is awarded game. All these points. Wait, there's a previous game? Oh, I got all the points! The end. By the way, who exactly are you anyway? Oh, uh, me? Why, I'm a referee. Anyway, your opponents are Looks like all real monsters. Let's go kick off the Froth Tournament Tour! A referee? Are they always that creepy? I don't really trust him. <laughs> He's shady. You yeah, I don't know, Kyle. I don't, I don't trust him, Kyle. Hurry up, let's go! Should we go? Forget it! Come on! He's a weirdo! At least I'm not a picnic basket. Huh? Oh my god. Oh! Scooter! Reporting back, are we? We are... wow. Yeah, sure. Meanie! So, are you done for the day? Uh, no. 
I want to play some more Frolf. I'm enjoying it, but it's just everything is kind of moving a little slow in between the Frolfing. Frolfing sounds a little bit like some kind of like disgusting sex move involving a straw. Or like in an enema or something. I don't know. I don't like it. It's a very Dreamcast looking GameCube game. Maybe that's just because I have Dreamcast on the mind. Um, there are things. Power fuel doubles the energy frogs get from frog fuel. Um, frog fuel heals frogs, makes them fly farther. Looks like Dokapon Kingdom. Sure. See that? Is there gotchas? Goomba Goo. Power fuel. Okay. There's many planets. I'm excited to see another planet. <laughs> it's like Kirby 64, yeah. Everybody, it's me, Gray Leno, huh? I'm wondering if you would like to play Froth with me. Oh, Froth. Oh, it's, my, it's me, Ultra Leno, huh? We're gonna play some Froth. Um, you can kind of, yeah, you can adjust the angle very, very, very slowly. Where do we want to go here? All right, let's see. Do we want to try to get that? That? Maybe we can angle this even less. Go! That was terrible. Best to just go for the hole? Yes, Dad. Alright. Go! There we go! Oh, and, and we're getting... Oh, delicious. What do you mean, elephant? No! <laughs> you motherfucker! Whoa, we're- this is like combos happening in this game. I missed the QTE, I did, yeah. So, okay, mechanically the game is pretty simple, but the levels are where the depth come in. And the combos. That's cool. That's not, that's, I mean, that's not cool, but that's kind of cool for me, because that's not happening to me. Yeah, oh, miss, yeah, 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 elephant. You've got zero points. Ah, oh, man. Go! Frog in! A chat member by the name of Todd Howard is a lovely person, just said, I am on a lot of cocaine right now. What is happening? No, I didn't need to read that out loud, nor did I need to say the chat member's name, but that was... just insane. It's Frolf, Todd Howard. It's Frolf. 
You should know what that means. That was close, but now I'm like really... Now I'm really getting into this, chat. I'm ready to like win. Like by a lot. Battle 2. Oh man, look at all this stuff. I'm assuming that's bad up there. We don't want to go into the spider web. It's good. Webs is good. I'm, I'm being told webs is good. All right. Go swim, swim. Oh, golden plus a hundred. I was a little sad I didn't get whatever that thing was in the sky there. I don't even know what it is, and I want it. Your frog has stamina, by the way. Makes sense. Oh man. No, that that might work actually. That might be okay. No, frog, please. I didn't even consider the jump. Like missing the thing. Chat, this may be the best game I've ever played. Wow. Still win. Pressing X opens your item menu. Ch I've never wanted to, to throw this panda in the trash more than anything in my uh, my life. What is that sentence? That's not a good sentence. What is going on here? Round Cox? Uh, uh, no. No. Oh. Yeah, those are those are strange little things. Those things there. Very, very weird. Skitter. Scooter's frog purchased during a bargain sale by the king. That's a nice frog. Leave it alone. It's a good frog. go. Is that, is that bad? No, that's good. Is, that, is this good? This is all good. That's bad. We don't want that, though. That's bad. 
no, no, no. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, give me the hundred. Is that like, uh, did you put that up your butt? This is a $250 GameCube game, by the way. Well, how come I got it for free? Your uncle at Nintendo? <laughs> yeah, I don't think Nintendo's ever gonna put this on a virtual console or anything like that. Ah! I keep thinking it says OM in the top right, but it's actually zero meters. Aw, oh, frog. I would I really I really would have enjoyed I would have enjoyed this game. You know. If I knew that this game existed when I was a child, I would have enjoyed it very much. Very much. Get in the hole No, it's fine. Why are you being British? I didn't know what you're talking about. I would have enjoyed it very much. Man, I, I really want that panda to eat the curb. <laughs> I hear Kirby's tasty. Panda, why do you suck at this so bad? You should just stop sucking. I don't know, this panda makes me toxic. I don't know what to say. Battle 4. Oh, this one's very watery. It seems like the frogs perform better in the water. They get some points, they go a little bit further. Oh, they'll swim across the whole goddamn lake. Shake the sea stick fast enough. Swimming gives points but makes them tired. Oh, I see. Go. No. No. Yes! No! <laughs> Alright, 
Panda's getting pretty close. I don't know what to do. I don't want to skitter about the water as a, as a frog would enjoy. direction of the frog with the sea stick when bit by a snake. But don't you have to rattle the sea stick in order to get out of the snake? Who up rattling the sea stick? Yeah, but it's easy. Okay. Wiggle it in the direction you want to go in, not back and forth. That's usually what I do, yeah. And now the results. Your score so far is this. The surprise bonus for this round is for this. For this many points. And the bonus goes to you! Go! The winner is this player! The winner is awarded all these points! The end! some shopping with that prize money. Wanna buy this? <laughs> Panda lost, so now he's trying to sell me some trash. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hey, hey do you, you want to buy, buy my NFT? NFT? Reporting back, are we? I've saved it for you. Are you done for the day? No, I'm ready to froth. I'm, I am frothing at the mouth to continue frothing. Gumba goo it. <laughs> what do you mean, Gumba goo? It sounds like a fake Teletubby. Uh, Vinny, you can buy new frogs. I, I like my current frog, but where do you buy new frogs? I don't think I've unlocked the frog station yet. I don't think chat knows what I'm uh, at the gotcha machine. Sometimes they sell you theirs after you beat them. Makes frogs so heavy they don't slip. So we got Hypnotron. We got Pran uh, Planet Frostickle. <laughs> uh, we've got Planet Tektron. Planet Lavatron. I like this one. I can't do it though. It won't let me do it. Lunk. I like when he walks. Huh? Nobody's here. That's really strange. <laughs> 
Did I scare you? Well, kind of. <laughs> Spock would probably tell us not to beat this creature and to keep it alive. Oh, look, it's the Dune popcorn bucket. Oh! certainly hope that was a good idea. I think that was a fantastic idea. I think I think I'm really good at this fucking game is what's happening. Love Froth. I am the Ribbit King. I'm wiggling. I didn't wiggle good enough. Ah, oh, that was a 50 right there, though. No! This not good! No! Fuck you! Shit! We're going just back and forth? Alright. Look at the determination on my frog's face. Knowing to be the inferior frog, but yet is determined to win. Good turn, Dick. All right. Oh, that's bad. Huh. I think that's karma for calling the rock a dick. will be punished. Once more! I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Vinny, when does this game get spooky? Didn't you see the squarey creatures next to me? That was spooky enough. Where's the battle pass? I know, I was looking for it too. Man, this actually kind of makes me a little sad knowing that this game existed and I didn't know about it. I'm thinking about all the weird games I would play with my friends like Pokemon Kingdom, other Mario Golf, or like, just to give you an example of a couple games, WarioWare Mega Party games, that was a good one. I played Star Wars The Clone Wars, speaking of Palpatine, that had an okay multiplayer. Um, what other games had decent multiplayers? Uh, to obviously Mario Golf I played a lot of on the GameCube. Dokapon was Wii, but, you know, same console, almost. Um, close enough. Monkey Ball 2 had a lot of mini-games I would play with my friends. We would do that one a lot. That was always good. Obviously, Mario Kart. That's more well-known shit. Nightfire, 007 Nightfire was good. Multiplayer was good in that. Um... There were more... I can't remember them, but there were more. Time Splitters 2. Time Splitters Future Perfect as well. Oh, man. 
Kirby Air Ride is another game I wish I had when I was younger, because I would have loved that. I played that for the first time, like, a year and a half ago, maybe, on stream, and I thought it was excellent. That is, like, a top-tier, top-shelf experience. I played a lot of Soul Calibur 2. That was a great one. I sold a lot of my GameCube games. Not a lot. I, I wouldn't say a lot, but I sold Nightfire. I did. <sighs> I would say I I would say I sold probably because at the time it's like I need money to buy new games. So let me sell my old games I don't play anymore. So I had Time Splitters Future Perfect. I sold Time Splitters too. Fucking dumbass. But I probably ended up selling not that many, but maybe like five or six GameCube games. Maybe seven at most. But yeah, when you're younger, you don't really have the opportunity to buy a lot of games. So one of the best ways to do that is to trade in your games to GameStop. Welcome to GameStop, home of the GameStop. How can I take your order? Save up to 15% or more trading in a new game. Here's a brand new mint condition copy of Time Splitters 2. Uh, best I can give you is 250. Okay. No! No! Who? Does anyone remember Funko Land? I I had many games from Funko Land. I remember I would get the flyers from Funko Land, and I, and this goes back to Frog Sauce, but this is a hundred percent true. I would read the flyer to see how much money you could trade stuff in for. And one game that I would always see was James Pond, which was James Bond, but Frog. Stop this fucking shit, man. Wasn't he a fish? Oh, maybe he was a fish then. But yeah, we had a Funko Land on Staten Island. As a kid, I traded Ribbit King in for three dollars. Now it's going for two hundred. You just never know. I, I mean, that and also the the market has been artificially inflated too. So don't. You know, don't don't think that it's gonna be that way forever. The prices are going to fluctuate. Good. For more information, look up flog, flog inflation. Don't wait. No, it's not flog. It's nice to know that as bad as I am at this game. The rock is worse. Oh, man. And I'm talking about the rock that sells energy drinks and talks about his nipple sweat. That guy. Now, chat was saying that this is a great game to play multiplayer. And if people liked watching this, and you enjoyed, maybe I can organize an online session of this sometime. Let me think about that a little bit. Twitch meta is Ribbit King. <laughs> H 
Hell yeah, frog. Uh, yeah. Well, frog's a little tired now. The rocket made him dizzy. Ooh! Oh, no! Yay! Chat, I don't know where the thing is. Where is the thing? Oh man, I'm not talking shit about the rock anymore. That's for goddamn sure. Press B, it will center you towards the hole. Is it in the bio? I've healed my frog. Still got some catching up to do, though. Mmm. I don't think we're gonna get in there. I'm gonna try. Oh, yeah, we- oh! Use left and right on the D-pad to curve the frog. Google frog curves for more info. Hit it into the lava, idiot. Oh, his can go in the lava, mine can't. Hey, are those my cinnamon buns? I think it gets a little more tired in the lava, perhaps. I don't know what to do. This is tough. Would an item help? Maybe. Not really. This has to be a perfect shot. Yes, Froggy. That's exactly what you had to do. I like frog funk music. That's that's a good genre. Uh oh. Actually, that's quite good if you can just do the QTE properly. Ah. 
Oh yeah, his frog is real tired. I think. I think bottom left is tired frog. That mushroom's gonna explode on me. 150, holy shit. I think the closer you hit it to the QTE, like if you're just on time, you get a ton of points. Yay! That might have been frame perfect. And there's combo bonuses too, yeah. And now the results. Your score so far is this. The surprise bonus for this round is for this. It kind of does sound like Trey Parker a little bit. <laughs> like once in a for while I hear Trey Parker. Points. Crash and the King. bonus goes to you. I did it. You, you didn't so, really. You didn't really the do it. Is did, did you? This player. Hooray! Oh, man. The winner is awarded all these points. I'm good for all these points. I like that. The end. Um, you want to buy this with your prize money? Huh? It's, it's just huh? an eyeball. What is it? What are you talking about? His egg is 300. Sorry, 3,000 C. I'll I guess I'll, I'll buy your seed. Yeah, looks like you got a good buy. <laughs> really? I don't trust this motherfucker. Oh, Scooter. Reporting back, are we? Why do you have to get so close to the camera, though? His animation reminds me of the construction workers in Ocarina of Time a little bit. So, are you done for the day? New bottle cap. Still don't know what that means, but... Bottle caps are achievements. This game was so ahead of its time. It's clearly the best game. You can look at that. You can even shake the gotcha machine. So you can play against Pappy on the first area. Plappy? Who's Princess Tippy? Okay, narcolepsy confirmed. You're okay. Are you okay? You should eat your spinach. And the game is as as funny as any game has ever been. That's why this game is Ribbit King good. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Oh, we've got bullseyes now. Oh no, that's not how that works. I forgot that your frog does a little hop. I could use an item. No, that's that's bullshit. I was, I was like two inches away from it, man. I miscalculated. I I have I have to prof better. It's no one's fault but my own. At least she's also not getting an item. Wait, what's going on there? Oh, okay. I think I could get that 50 points and a frog in, or is that just pure greed? Oh, the D-pad, right, 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 the D-pad. Well, no, the D-pad's not working. Oh, wait, yes it is. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, oh, oh there you go. Look at that, chat member was so right. Ah. Maybe? Oh. This is the worst day of my life. Tough. To get a hundred on that bullseye is tough. Do you think the frogs can feel anger? It seems in your froggy anger. You killed her. Is it just me, or was there, like, a, an era of, like, bored or tired, like, girls in video games? I'm thinking of, like, Ashley, thinking of this character, those two, just those two characters. Is that, like, an era? Someone just said Snow White. So the era extends from the 30s to 2005, I, I think, yeah. Sleeping Beauty. Wait, didn't Snow White also sleep? I don't remember. I don't I don't think I've seen that movie since I was three. And now Disney's putting their audiences to sleep instead of their characters. Wait, do I have a sound effect for that? Squeeze your hog. No, that's not it. Good enough. Vinny, can I get a metal pipe, please? I don't want to wake people up. I've been told that my RimWorld streams, because of the metal pipe mod, has been waking people up. There. 
So, I mean, even though we do now have a pipe emote, I feel bad waking people up. So, you know, good morning. Oh, that's so much fun, but it didn't work that great, did it? Oh, golden fly! How come you're not a hell diver yet? I played it uh, Friday with Germa. And stir and poke. We, it was great. I mean, I have some issues with the game, but it just it, moment to moment gameplay is really fun. Like there's some, I, I just don't like the, uh, no. Apparently the DRM is is frying people's computers a little bit. Not you know what I mean. Just adding in, like resources, making it hard for people to play it. Um, there's some server issues. I don't know if they address those. There's the battle pass. Everything's like a battle pass in that game, but it's not as terrible as I first thought. It's just you know the game itself is fun, and I look to play more of it whenever I have time to do so. I just uh, I don't know when I'll have time to do so. The guy who fried his PC was literally one guy. Gameplay is fire, everything else is annoying. I think that's the best way to describe it. What was I gonna say? Oh, um... In regards to people sleeping to my streams... Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. If you streep to my... Streep. If you Meryl streep to my videos, then you're award winning. If you uh, sleep to my streams or videos... I take it as a compliment. And I actually do kind of feel bad for people, uh, that I wake up. And I- that's not my goal. I don't want to wake you up while you're sleeping or streeping to my streams. I kind of enjoy that people like my stuff enough to sleep to them. I actually do sometimes play games that, uh... Like, I know, like, uh, what, like, Pip- Pip World, what's it called? <laughs> Dot Age? Uh, and Against the Storm. When people say, oh, it's time to sleep, I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Let's see. That might be the worst pipe drum solo. But it's cool. Oh, I worry about that. So that's gonna get... Mm. I'm going for, uh, you know, a strategy. I'm doing a strat. I'm doing a strat. Kind of worked out. Steel pan, not pipe drum. I don't want. Did I call it pipe drum? There. Is that what I called it? Pipe drum. <laughs> I don't know why I called it pipe drum. I'm content to just get this map over with right away. There are many perils. Were you thinking of steel pipe? Pipe? I don't know what I was thinking. It's weird. I, I thought... I know it's called a steel drum, but I called it a pipe drum. There. Actual pipe drums, holy shit. Doesn't Blue Man Group play pipe drums? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, these are real. That's cool. That's a cool sound. They're like, yeah, PVC pipes turn into drums. Blue man group play anything if you let them. Can they play a Tesla coil? Mm, there. Vinny, I watched them play a guy's throat. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure you'd Pretty sure you either watched that on Pornhub, or you imagined it, or there was an incident in the dressing room. We made it up. Exactly, exactly right. What happens when you land on this guy's head, can you? Probably something bad. Seems good to me. Perfect. Let's see if my calculations were correct, chat. Ribbit King Champion. Oh, fuck. No, that's good. That little backflip is so beautiful. I was gonna go for bonus points, but I think I'll go with this. <clears throat> She's going for bonus points. How come it says OM in the top right? You know, it's half of a mantra. You start with the om, and then you add, like, om, uh, mani, pedi. And that's how you get, uh, manicure, pedicure into your life faster. <sighs> that's not a minus two, chat, you know it. And now the results. Your score so far is this. The surprise bonus for this round is for this. For this many points. And the bonus goes to Hell Driver. You. Oh, yeah! Vinny, that joke made my wife so, leave me. The winner is this player. If that's Hooray! true, then you should be thanking me. It's a great joke. The winner is awarded all these points. The end. Oh, I can't believe I lost. Oh, yeah. 
you want to buy this way. crap? Don't you want to buy this? <laughs> I'll take it. Insta ice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a charm that this game has that I, I just can't quite explain. Oh, scooter. And it does remind me of Dokapon Kingdom a little bit. Reporting back, are we? And many other games of this time, and I, I quite like it. I've saved it. Are you done for the day? I might be, because I want to do them Dreamcast games. I just want to see if we can do the cool alien worlds. Not quite. Chat, when it says... Like, can I play against my own character? Oh, it's practice mode. Well, there's Pappy over here. Are there new levels against Pappy? It's the same levels, oh, but, but Pappy is harder. All right, well, listen, I do want to play them Dreamcast games, so we're going to do that. Um, I might try to do a part two of this, but give me some time. It might not be for a little while. I want to finish some other stuff. But this game is actually, a jokes aside, I really like this game. And I had a lot of fun playing it. And I, I would have loved it if I had it when I was younger. So at least I get to play it now. Maybe, I don't know if I'll do a multiplayer version of this, but I think it will be good because if you have two people who are good at Frolf, I'm sure that battle would be amazing. Like, I can actually see these matches really heating up. And that's Ribbit King. Totally worth not shafting. Just make sure we're all saved up in case I do come back to this. I probably will, but I just have to find the right time for it.